Welcome back everybody, time for game number one, let's go. Alright, decent hand, I don't think we want two one drops, I don't think we want these spells, we want to find our good cards, preferably champions, we did not manage that, but we'll make the best of it. That's one of the things, the deck is a bit light on units, so that can be problematic sometimes. And yeah, here we just jam a tracker. Block this, make it a 3-1. Then we can consider killing it. Yeah, I think I just do this and trade. And restore to spell mana. In the War Mother's name. I guess this is an aggro deck. Like, Freyord normally isn't very aggressive. But, um, yeah, Freyjord Noxus seems like it's an aggressive deck that is trying to make use of this 1-drop. Together with the Noxus 2-drop that deals the damage to an ally, turning it into a 5-2. Pretty decent. But not sure if that's worth it. I consider that brewing. There we go. Now we could play a Blade Keeper, but that means we don't have a Deny open. Not too fond of. But I think I'll just attack here. There's not much downside to that. Then we can like, we have double Deny, so we really wanna stuff open here. Okay, sure. Not sure what the plan is with that. I guess somebody didn't read the quick attack here. And yeah, since the opponent has so much. I don't know, I think we can risk doing this post combat. We don't have deny open anymore, but it seems like the opponent doesn't have a whole lot. Otherwise, they probably would have tried during combat. We still have two spare mana, like we would waste too much mana. And that's what I meant, like, this is a spot where we fight for one quick attack would be really nice. Huh. Okay. I think we can do this. Soon my then if the opponent attacks, we just block and... That's Shadow Shift. Return the Blade Keeper. Stand together. I, pity you. I mean, we could also do this, but I think the low round makes more sense. Also, leaves a deny open. It's weird, the opponent seems to not be that aggressive. I honestly don't know. He's doing weird things. That also softens him up, so he dies to Zed. Although we have Rush for that also, and we have the Blade Keeper to buff him. I wanna put this out here. Gives that a barrier. Go. Honor guide me. See? For two. 
I don't think I want to attack with Just play it safely. I think we even need to make that big. Um, I actually, why not? Making that bigger can't be that bad. Given that we can protect them really well. Block here, block here, then kill this. Still have counter backup. Oh, we can't counter. Okay, then that happened. That means on our turn we can just put everything in. Go. Ready the attack. So we get another attack. Not sure what the plan with that trick was, but yeah, flippity flip, and that upon it, boom boom. That is such a powerful champion. You can use him to build around like this deck does. You can also just use him as a good three drop, cause just a really powerful three drop, as you saw saw in. Uh, the sort of Sue deck deck before. Anyway, that's it for game one. I'll be back in a moment with game number two.